in a world full of dust-filled, untuned, underperforming PCs. One man is here to give us better and smoother frame rates. This is PC House Call. Welcome back to episode two of PC House Call. Now, last time I did this with James, we went over, we tuned his PC, overclocked his 6700K. He was over the moon, absolutely loving the performance gains. Now, this time around, I'm joined by my good friend, Luke, and we're going to do the exact same thing. And I've known him for 18 years. Do you want to tell him the story of how we first met? So, yeah, me and Brian met when we were uh, young kids going through primary school and high school. And we used to meet up, play a bit of Brood War together and... You know, it was fun times. It was good times. Yeah, so we used to go out on the weekend, uh, party, and do all those things that teenagers did. And then on the Sunday when we're hungover, we played Brood War, epic game. Yeah, and Brood War Sesh. And essentially today what I'm doing with a Luke's PC is the same shindig that we've always done and we always will be doing is we're going to clean this dust-filled, underperforming PC. We're going to put a GTX 1080 in it as well. And also Luke uh, has swapped me two PCs for a GTX 1080. Now, of course, I'm getting a really good deal out of this, but Luke also picked these PCs up for a 200 Australian dollars each, yeah? Yeah, so there's two computers. Both of them have an i7 in them. They've both got uh, 16 gig of RAM. Uh, they've got two Radeon graphics cards, I believe. And there's two by two... Sure, 24, yeah, 24 inch monitors as well to go with them. So, so now behind me, I'm going to start doing my magic. We're going to check out all the current specs of Luke's PC. We're going to test the performance as it stands. And then, of course, we're going to do a complete overhaul of this machine, or at least in terms of overclocking and also putting in that new graphics card. And, and see what it can do. Yeah, and see what it does before and then, of course, after. So let's get on with it. So the games that Luke currently likes to play is Overwatch at 1080p at high settings and also World of Warcraft on a simulated 4K setting with high graphics settings. Now for World of Warcraft, he likes playing at the 4K settings simply because his user interface buttons are then smaller, he can see everything that's going on in Arena, and he wants to get the best experience in these two games. So currently with Overwatch, he's getting around 120 FPS average at these settings. And then with uh, World of Warcraft, he's currently getting around 50 FPS Though of course he does have to lower the settings in World of Warcraft to get higher frame rates, though the GTX 1080 should solve this problem. However, for tuning the PC, I like to use four different programs, Cinebench, Ida64, MSI Afterburner, and also Unigine Heaven. And upon stress testing the CPU, there was a big problem, and we found this out with Ida64 stress test. The CPU was going near 100 degrees Celsius and also thermal throttling. This is a big problem, and I do have a solution for this problem, with a Reven Aquinos. So now Luke's PC consists of an i7-4770K on a Z87 Extreme 3 motherboard. He also has 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory in dual channel configuration. So this board will be good for a decent overclock. However, he does have a GTX 970 and he does complain about having graphics settings not being able to max out on Ultra with really good frame rates in some of his games. Of course, a GTX 1080 will fix this problem and we're powering this off a Seasonic 650 watt gold rated power supply. So we can reuse this power supply. It is really good and it will do an absolutely fine job, not just overclock, and give us you know, stable overclocks, but also pairing that GTX 1080 and overclocking that as well. Now, one thing you may also notice is that he's using a thermal take case that's completely open air. This is okay if you want to keep temperatures cool, especially in summer. However, it does attract a lot of dust. So we're going to give this a full cleanse. We're going to do some more cable management because he currently has a jungle sandwich in here. And then we're going to see what this case looks like after. <laughs>
So I'm just overclocking now and the temperatures are a lot better. I've overclocked the CPU to 4.3 gigahertz and I'm under the pump here. I've got absolutely no time. Uh, they've got to do some stuff. I'm under the pump. I've got this to 4.3 gigahertz. I'm gonna run some quick benchmarks, make sure that this thing is stable, but it's also looking really good and it's clean and then Luke will be one happy customer. So starting off with the benchmarks running through Cinebench, we saw a boost at over 800 CB, which was great before we had the throttling CPU going anywhere from 650 to 700. But when we looked at the next benchmark, the Heaven benchmark, that got a really big increase as well. And then of course, moving on into the games, Overwatch over double the FPS. I was really blown away by this figure. It was really smooth over 240 FPS a lot of the times, sometimes maxing out at 300 FPS. Great for Luke who has a high refresh rate monitor too. And then moving on into World of Warcraft in that main city again, we went from 40 to 50 FPS all the way up to 90 to 100 FPS. So practically a double in frame rates on this PC. So I think Luke is gonna be happy with this, but let's hear it from himself. So here we are now with Luke's PC behind me. It is finished. Finito, and I've also overclocked it. So we got the CPU to 4.3 gigahertz, which I would like to get it a bit higher. I'd like to ultimately delit it, um, possibly give it maybe an extra 50 to 100 millivolts. See if I can get to 4.5, 4.6 gigahertz. Memory was interesting, but we still got that to 1600 megahertz. And the graphics card, of course, the GTX 1080, an absolute beast, got that to 2.05 gigahertz, and it was running absolutely amazing. Your games are now over double what they were before with that 970 and dirty dust filled pc <laughs> and you, it was not even overclocked it was throttling 100 degrees now you got 70 degrees how do you feel about this i am so happy with this job that you've done for me it is amazing i can't wait to game on this it's been it's been amazing you've pretty much doubled my fps so really looking forward to game with this pc now that's what i want to hear yeah, yeah. So there we have it guys, there's not a whole lot more to this PC, uh, I'd like to spend a bit more time with it as I said before, but ultimately Luke's a happy camper, over double the FPS. Very happy. <laughs> there you go, so, <laughs> and we're just going to eat some dinner and I'm going to head on home because I am over an hour away from Luke, he has moved away from the Gold Coast now unfortunately, but if you guys have any questions about PC House Call, I'll put the link to the previous episode, episode 1 where I tuned up James PC, I'll put the link in the description below for that, and if you have any questions for Luke or I in the description or in the comments section below then drop a comment and we'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye you gotta hold the mic right up like, Ship. yeah <laughs> ready Pe peace out for now bye so sure power supplies yep terrible power supplies <laughs> <laughs> right, so. yeah so from the start, I met Brian when... <laughs> it's right. What's better than one gold mic? Two gold mics. <laughs> <laughs> and we're pairing this off a... 650 watt. And we're pairing this off a Seasonic 650 watt gold rated power... And then we're going to see what this case can look after. And you got to talk closer. You talk about... You talk like this with the mic. You talk that way and you have it just under your lip. So you're not going like this. If you go like this, you're going to put, it's going to pop. Yeah. So you have it like that. Yeah. So just like that? Yeah, just like that. All just right, cool. Bit, about there. About yeah. There. That's good. Got it. All right. Uh, we were going through our primary years at school and... Remember, the mic's got to move with you too. It's like this. Right. It's like this. Yeah. So yeah, you hold the hide the bicep and yeah. it moves one in tandem with you like this, see? Yeah. Welcome, like this, look at this. Welcome back to Tech Yes, it is Brian coming to you guys today. Peace, Peace out for now. now. Bye. Bye.